If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. All right, so, you know, I'm just going to stay on this just a little bit. I need for the black women that are raising these young girls um, who are the mothers, who are the grandmothers, the aunts. I need y'all to start getting these girls under control. Um, like I stated before, if people have a preference in what it is that they want to date, that's completely cool. Fine. Do whatever it is that you want to do. But when you go out here to this extent and you make social media videos in a sense putting out there how desperate you are it seems vastly ridiculous and then on top of that you know you got women out here that in a sense have the pretty privilege so to in a sense say that you wish that certain men were attracted to you it literally makes no promise you can promise you can promise you can promise you can promise you if she was to go out there to some of those colleges or some of some of those states like a Colorado or Montana or whatnot or whatever, she would get those specific men to, you know, ask her out or to take her out or whatever it is. So, you know, this little uh, uh, bait and switch or, or sleight of hand type of deal, in a sense, doesn't make sense. Now, back to the main thing that I was saying before, when it comes to the uh the advertisement of you know no one likes me what was me you know type of thing trying to gain sympathy by lying um this is completely ridiculous and on top of the fact i need y'all to start giving these girls right the type of books that your grandmothers in a sense gave you or should have gave you because of the walks that they had and the journeys that they took through life meaning that you should be teaching them about self-love knowledge of self teaching them how to determine their own value so that a another individual can't determine the value for them because everybody out here in a sense has a price but you are the one that determines what that price is how high or how low that price is or should be nobody else should be able to determine that price directly for you because if it comes to the point that another person can determine your price that means that you have no leg room to move if you want to right because at the end of the day this looks completely ridiculous this looks completely shameful this is something that should not even exist at all and as i stated to y'all before the only reason that i talk about these things is because videos like this these are going to be the videos that your daughters are going to grow up seeing because they're on TikTok, IG, whatever it is, wherever social media is, that's where these videos are going to be. And that's where those uh, uh, nieces, those granddaughters, those daughters, right, Th those adoptive kids that you might have, I don't know. But that's where those young girls are going to end up seeing these videos. And these videos are going to end up brainwashing them to follow monkey see, monkey do. And that's the wrong way to go about life, because the main way that people were taught was what? If there's something in life that you want, you'll go out there and seek it. You're not going to try to, you know, do something like this, which is completely underhanded to try to make it seem as though you're not getting attention when you have, you know, pretty woman privilege. Like I said before, women who don't even look like her, they could never even do a video like this and get attention from guys of all types. They can never sit up there and do that. Because like I said before, when I see these videos, I go through the comment sections and I like to see the responses. And you see the responses from a field of the guys that she's saying that she doesn't get attention from. And that's the thing that I'm talking about. The lies that people directly put out there and how it is that they want to uh, present themselves as if they are unattractive. She 100% knows that she is attractive.
but she's going to sit up there and play this game because there are so many simple dudes out here right that are going to directly go out of their way to give this woman that attention to make her feel oh so better <laughs> And, you know, like I said before, the only thing that they're doing is fluffing up the numbers on her social media. And, you know, she's going to only deal with certain guys that are on a certain level when it deals with social media. Because that, in a sense, for the newer generation, that's how they gauge uh, who it is that they want to deal with. That's the, the popularity chart. If you got a nice ranking or a nice level on social media, then a girl is going to end up messing with you. You know, she don't mind if you slide in the DMs, all the other type of stuff, going out on a date or, or whatever it is. But if you're a dude and you got like zero followers or 100 followers compared to her 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 or 100,000, she ain't even looking your way because for her, you don't have no type of worth or value that she can basically leech off of or take or flip and use for her own benefit. But, you know, like I said before, that's a, that's, a, that's a topic for a whole nother conversation. I ain't even going to try to get that deep. But like I said, I need for the woman out here that's raising these young girls, these young women, to teach them to stop doing things like this. Because inevitably, at the end of the day, what's going to end up happening is that they're going to end up getting attention from people that they realistically didn't even want. Or they're going to get the attention that they want, but it's going to be from the wrong person on the right day. So, like I said, you know, that's just my warning out here for a lot of these women raising these girls, teaching them to, you know, hopefully be smarter uh, when it deals with social media and how it is that they want to try to get attention from guys all over the world. <laughs>